What's up, my alphas? It's your boy, my alphas, I'm me. Looking cute, looking clean, looking sexy. And I'm here join on the Just a Fan Wrestling with the one, the only Afro coming 765. You can call them Tor, you can call them. What do they call you, Tor? You can call me. You can call me your friendly neighborhood scumbag. I'm just here to give you your daily dose of dirtbag here in the wrestling yeah. world. We got, we got we got we got we got a pretty good bit, good bit of news today. We got a pretty good bit of news. We ha we do have WW Evil is coming out now March 24th on Peacock in which they have an eight-part documentary series where they get some of the biggest heels in wrestling and talk about why it's fun to be the bad guy. They have Paul Heyman, Roman Reigns, Sasha, Ric Flair, Randy Orton, uh Hulk Hogan. <laughs> That's going to be the interesting one. Uh <laughs> Bro, how many? Hey, uh, I've been telling people now. You want to have fun watching it on the Hulk Hogan episode? Just fucking drink every time he tells a lie. <laughs> it's gonna, it will be the greatest it's gonna game. Be a ever. Party at your house because you know he likes to lie. But he is about to tell crazy stories about people who were not alive when these things <laughs> happened. But I'm looking forward to it. Tor, how do you feel about WWE Evil? And are you looking forward to something? I'm looking forward to the Sasha Banks making the little girl cry when she took it from Bailey. Bailey girl. That was yeah. an epic rivalry, by the way. If y'all don't if y'all don't if y'all ain't never watched the NXT, watch it. The... That was a grassroots NXT rivalry yeah. too. It was built up for time. Man, I, I like the idea of the show. In a way. I sort of dislike shows like this because I feel like it takes away from the what little bit of mystique is left in wrestling. You know what I mean? So I like seeing shows like this because I'm invested in the people that the show's about have been for multiple decades at this point. But I can't help but feel this takes away from future and by no means are future generations gonna get the same feeling we got when we were young watching wrestling because we were watching wrestling before the internet so <laughs> big, big big difference but um as an idea i think it's gonna be really cool i'm looking forward to any i'm all i'm looking forward to any time paul Heyman speaks just because i mean he's got such a plethora of knowledge and been through so many different experiences and from running a promotion to being an on-screen power person or being a behind the stage producer. I mean, anytime I'm down for any time I get to listen to Paul Heyman talk about anything. So that's one I'm especially looking forward to. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I think, I think it's going to be a fun show. I just can't, like I said, I feel like it takes away a little of the pizzazz because it just, puts another barrier between the audience and the product and there's already so many of them. I'm gonna tell you the truth from the promo. Like Roman Reigns is still in K Fate. That's the one thing I can say about this Roman Reigns. Is Roman Reigns did every interview in K Fate. Every interview he ever done <laughs> lately. I don't I think I seen one. No, he did oh, out of character he was K Fate still for some reason. I'm like this is a this the show is meant to get you out yeah. of character. He might have done. He might have done one like right after he announced the leukemia situation. Yeah, since uh, I'm talking about since um the tribal chief reign, he's been complete. Yeah, since yeah. he came back. I don't remember if he did one out of character, but I remember parts of out of character when I saw because I didn't quite watch that one, but he was in character still for some of the parts of it. I don't know if he didn't comp like Roman Reign. The only person I can say is completely into his kayfabe right now because everybody else would literally break it. Well, yeah, right, okay, yeah. right now, right now. Because I was about to say, think about The Undertaker, bro. He went on David Letterman like a oh, yeah, zombie. I'll take a finally bruh. broke it after he retired. And he's like, I don't, I don't retire. I'm done now. But Yeah, but, bro, wasn't nobody else. That's the thing. He broke it. Th think, they had a whole storyline in the WWE back in the day trying to get him. Remember, it was Mark. When they called him Mark for the first time on Ooh, TV, <laughs> and they were they were like trying to get him to separate from the, I know a lot of for you younger kids, you guys are like, what are they talking about? But um, go back on the, it's not the WWE network. I don't know Peacock anymore. You still go back to get, get on the Peacock WWE network. It just 
I think it's good. Yeah, it's okay. Nothing new on it. You might get some old stuff. I don't but, know. Um, I know Europe still got it, so I think it's still up because yeah. Europe still need it because Peacock ain't in Europe. I, th- I think it's just I think it's still the WWE Network yeah. globally, yeah, but Peacock. here in America it's Peacock yeah. now. So I think the app's okay. still up. It just so, like getting the new for yeah. America. They they had a whole storyline about trying to get the Undertaker to break kayfabe. And it was a good story. They got some good matches out of it. Yeah. But, um, yeah, Roman's just, he's got, he's got the it factor. I mean, the genes, the, the Anawai blood runs super strong. And I think, and, and that blood is even that, more so. That than blood the should always be healed most of the time. Can we be honest? <laughs> yeah. They are a really good heal. I mean, but, but, but think from the wild Samoans, Meta Alpha and Sika, to, um, Rikishi, Umaga, Rikishi Umaga. and uh, Yoko, Zuna. Yeah. Yokozuna, bro. That's a that's a hill blood. Um, Fatu, yeah. Fatu biting people's faces off, bro. Quit playing with him, and he's he's uh, Tama Tonga and Tama Loa's yeah. dad. So they're part of the dynasty the bloodline if you would it's crazy how the blood the bloodline is you can find it at almost every wrestling promotion and it is in an upper top spot because you got to think god top tag team in new japan basically just like the uso and um you got uh jacob fatu in mlw even though mlw is like the c league but um, he's at the top over there. He'd be fighting for the belt. Him and Alexander Hammerstone had a crazy match at the end of last year. So, I mean, that it's just. And then you got uh, young Uso in uh, NXT. What's his Solo. What's his name there? Solo. Solo Solo Sokoa. That that's it. But um. And not to mention, you've got The Rock's daughter in the developmental the center tenth, right now. If the she performance got a tenth, center. my bad. She, if she has tenth, a tenth of The Rock's charisma, I'll make superstar. Oh, bro. <laughs> I mean, she looks, she looks like she's beastly. I mean, not not like crazy buff wise, but I mean, she looks athletic. She's she looks like. Yeah, I was about to say she's on the taller side. Freaking, it's gonna be, it's gonna be interesting to see. They're they're doing a lot of quick call ups now. Like a, we saw, I'm hearing Brian. Um, is, I'm watching. I'm Brian coming to Raw soon. Or SmackDown. I don't know which one it is. Uh. I mean, he sort of has to after that loss on NXT. I'm. A, it's gonna be crazy if they keep him there after that. Yeah, I think they're calling him up soon. Maybe they will. I think Yo, it's cool. That they did gave you watch that match? Before we go did you did you see he did that uh the the dog roll out the ring to the wrong side like his like his uncle used to do? Yeah, I know a lot of younger fans did not know what he was doing because I saw a TikTok from my boy Suplex. Like, what is he doing? Well, I'm not Suplex. It's um I forgot one of them TikTokers. Like, what is he doing? I'm like, yeah, you didn't watch his uncle. His uncle used to randomly show up out of nowhere and you. start dog rolling out the ring in the wrong spot, and I'm like. And it was weird because the dude getting pinned and he dog rolling. His uncle used to do that for the people that don't know. Yeah, just like that, like when he fall off the rim. Brian, they were like, "What is, what is wrong with Brown right now?" Yeah, for the ones that don't know, if you watch the end, of, if you watch it the end a, of match. But see, that's the thing. I don't know what percentage of their audience would even I'm be 30, of so age I, know, I, mind I, I watched to, him when he was in WCW and when he was in original WWE. I'll be, I'll be 30. Yes. Like a, so I like know, but weeks, a lot of people so. that watch it might not know, even though WWE audience is on the older side, but a, young, a lot of young kids be like, what is that? What is he doing? Did he, did he, I saw a lot of people say yeah. he messed up. I'm like, no, his uncle did it. And they do a lot of callbacks to his uncle. No. Listen, you uncultured swine. It's called a callback. Just like when he on the top rope and he did a little fall off thing. His daddy used to do that. For the people that don't, <laughs> or he's on the little edge, bro. I I saw people I I saw people not understanding Steiner math when it first came around. They were like, "Huh?" <laughs> I was like, "Come on, man. We gotta get the basics out of you." It's a dog rope. 
be happy he's not wearing a head be happy he's not wearing headgear chainmail. Hey, he gotta wear chainmail. If he if what, he's at WrestleMania, he what, gotta wear well, chainmail. What, what no, what if he comes up to the what if he comes up to the main roster with the with the chain mail do rag. He gotta do it at WrestleMania. I don't think he can just do it on my roster. You gotta do it at WrestleMania. Oh, you don't think he can do I mean, think about Big Papa Pump. He did it all uh, the I, time. I, he wore I that don't chain think Vince man. good with his dad, right? Uh, but he got I think he got it. Is he not good with Scott? No, he's not good with either of them. He's not good with either of them, I don't think. But he, that's, but he, that's he did one of let the real reasons. But he did let him on the show. The Vince, for the love of God, if you yeah. do decide to put him on WrestleMania this year. But they they own the trademark to the Steiner yeah. name. But Vince, so. for the love of God, if you do put him on WrestleMania, let Big Papa Pump come out there and put the chain mail in his head so I can pop. I'll, just after he wins no, no, does he intro, do it after he wins intro. or does he do it before I need he that woof, 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 woof thing okay. to come out sit down the smoke come yeah. out he put his head down put the chain mail thing on I will I will forgive you for a month I won't say nothing bad about your show I just need that pop one t- that's him that's him saying no, that you, I will, you got you got a you month for me if you do something crazy on that show while that happens I'm no, still Scott gonna- Steiner never had his WrestleMania moment and I, I would fed that one in just yeah, if you give his nephew, if you if you give him of, at least his, you give Scott Stein that moment to put it on his nephew, I'd be like, I'm good for a month. I forget you. That's me saying that, by the way. I'll, I don't know. Do you think do you think Vince will forgive you know, though? Hey, Vince let his daddy hug him in the ring and put it on the WWE YouTube. Yeah, but still he put that's it on different. He put it on YouTube. <laughs> I was gonna say. It didn't go out live. So, like, so we don't know. I, I, Vince, I'm just telling you. Because if you don't do it, I might kill a lot of stuff. I feel like you might be doing it, man. I'm, tr- I'm, I'm trying to give you a way out, dog. I'm trying to give you a way out right now just for me not to say nothing bad about you for a month. I'm telling you. It's only a month. I might come back with a little juice and anger after that month, but you got a month free. Lucky for you, we don't watch Raw like oh, that, yeah, so we I, can't I, complain I too Lately, much. Lately, I've been watching it, and it's been okay. They have a lot of stupid stuff on Raw. That's okay. I've been tuning in a little bit more, but uh, I'm not, I ain't got it in me to invest in yeah, Raw yeah. like that. Uh, Tori, I'll be fo- we're going to go to another subject, and, and it's about Vince again. And it's about Brian Danielson. Vince has been on this thing about get yourself over, blah, blah, blah. Vince used to never say this for anybody younger. This is like a 2014-15 thing. Vince was like, get yourself over. De- grab the brass rings. Yeah. But ever since Brian, da- Daniel, at the time, Daniel Bryant, got himself over. Brian, yeah, Brian dancing now at that time, Daniel Bryant. Got himself over. I feel like Vince is like, hey, he did it. Y'all do it. And I feel like that might have, his success might have hurt a lot of people. Because Vince got lazy booking after. I feel, I feel like his like, booking got lazy. I feel like, I feel like his booking got lazy. He could have contributed. I mean, if you really think about it, it's there is a correlation there. I also feel like Brian Danielson's size had a lot to do with it. Like Vince, I don't think Vince was had ever expected someone of that stature to get over like that and really put it to where, I mean, think Brian Danielson was unifying belts, bro. That is true. Think about that. In one night, he did it in one night. He was. Won the big gold and the WWE in one night. And Vince, to Tori Point, Tori said, I'm going to let him explain it a little more. Vince loves Daniel Bryant. I mean, Brian Danielson. Yeah. Like, and, and that's that's another one of the reasons why because Brian Danielson is the complete. It's why anyone would love to have him. It's the reason why if he wanted to right now he could go back to the WWE. It's, I mean, aside from his uh, father-in-law being good old Johnny Ace, but um, he's the complete and total package. I mean, if you guys didn't see that promo that. Um, William Regal cut on dynamite. I mean, that wasn't even really a promo so much as the truth. And I think that's why it choked him up a little bit. Cause he was just telling the truth. Like Brian Danielson and anyone you can argue, whoever you can be a Kenny Omega fan. You can be a, you, 
You can be a fan of whoever, whether it's Okada or you think Osprey. Bro, unequivocally, in my opinion, Brian Danielson is the best wrestler in the world. Top to bottom. Full body of work. Yeah. He's the best wrestler in the world. There's a reason that even though we, you know, we we here at Overall 99 Wrestling, we don't endorse Dave Meltzer to a high degree. But one thing he got right was the Brian Danielson Award. Seth like, Rollins said it. Seth Rollins <laughs> like he's he's on my Mount Rushmore top four wrestlers ever. Bro, he should be on everybody's if we're gonna be honest. He listed um Brian Danielson has done some of the best wrestling in the world all over the yeah, world. I think a lot of consensus usually in a time while WWE was in the in complete control of the industry. He you gotta think he's the first post attitude era indie wrestler to really strike it big besides CM Punk and they were both coming out of Ring of Honor. And he got a lot of love because he so, chose to stay when CM Punk chose to leave. So Vince showed him a lot more love. Vince liked that though, but anybody yep. ever if you watch his history, if somebody leave and somebody chooses to stay and Vince like you loyal. Vince that's why he cried when people mentioned the Undertaker. That's why Vince had to mention when he was talking about the Undertaker, he was like, I never once during the war with WCW, did I ever worry about whether Taker was leaving? Yo, he or cried. Not. He cried when they bring it up. Mark Calloway don't Yo, cry. Yo, the man asked him, "What? Do you, how do you feel about the Undertaker?" He started crying. <laughs> this, this loves the Undertaker, and I don't think he's mad at Brian Danson for leaving. But bro, the Undertaker's been there from the from the beginning of the takeover. You know yeah. what I mean? I don't think he's. I don't think he's as upset with Brian Danielson because they had that conversation. If y'all if y'all haven't heard, Dan, Brian Danielson is one of the few people that don't annoy me when they talk after the thing, because I feel like most of that thing is about yeah. another company. It's like an ex that you talk about, but while you're in a new relationship, that's supposed to be going good, but you just talk about your horrible experience with your ex. And I get it, especially with CM Punk. It, it's it's horrible. It was bad. It was very bad. They did a lot of the bad things, but I'm like, bro, you're supposed to be happy. You just had the feud of the year, probably, and you spent 20 of your 23 minutes. <laughs> talking about your ex I get it Brian Danson talk about the story yeah. you just tell cool stories and then go say something wild I would say he's so down to earth but next level at the same time it's yeah, he, very yeah, he's paradoxical like, I don't get, but he yeah, makes he's it like, he'll go and talk about the story about when Vince said why did you go to why did you choose them he's like they let me bleed he's like I can never do that for you so I so you like I'm good with that because I exactly. can't do it because of my corporate partners and all them I can't do it for you. PG, yeah, so, and so they're a publicly traded company. By the way, I, got a PG rat, by the, rating. On by the way, a lot television. of wrestling fans don't understand it. If they ever go public, tent, I'm telling you right now, AEW will be very different too. Trust me, it's a yeah, it'll change LLC a lot. compared to corporation is very different. And LLC is like a solo business with corporation. It's like the best thing to be an LLC, but once you get to that corporation, you make a lot more money. But it's a lot of restrictions. <laughs> it's a lot, a lot of restrictions. A lot more red you got tape. A lot of people you got to talk to. Like I said, a lot of people don't remember Vince McMahon and the steroid trials. Yeah, you don't the, remember why? Why a lot of people don't? A lot of people don't know why sports entertainment is sports entertainment. Because Vince wasn't trying to, Vince wasn't like, I ain't gonna follow no athletic board, yo. That's crazy. Yeah. Um. Uh, to to Tori's point, Vince basically had all that them problems. He had all that drama from the Attitude Era that he had to kind of clean up to become a corporation. Why? Because as he said in the Pat McAfee interview. He was faking like he was making money because wrestling bleeds money. If you don't believe me, ROH is a was a great wrestling program. Ran out of business. Tony Khan, yeah, horrible TV. Tony Khan. Why do you think we're laughing at the control your narrative? Why do you think all of Twitter is cackling at EC3 and his yeah. makeshift promotion with Braun Strowman? Yeah, um, Terp. Tournament like, this will work because it's gonna be like the old school wrestling when it just comes like every two or three months. If it did, try. 
Do you still? Yeah, but do you do you think he does he still do Terminus or does he try and get with he, Tony Khan and Ring of Honor? Term, well, he can still do get with Tony Khan. Still do Terminus every three or four months. You, is Tony Khan letting boys? Okay, I understand letting them wrestle on Indies, but is he letting people run whole? I have, he lets Chris Jericho do the Jericho cruise. He, let Jericho, so. he just let Jericho do it. But yeah, but again, I I, I wonder. Yeah, but though. people gotta understand once you get. Once you get corporate, it's a lot of money in it because every major company in the oh, world yeah. is just throwing money. As you can see, Vince got connects to everywhere in the world from Saudi Arabia, and they give him. By the way, his like I said, his six Saudi Arabia trips has made him more money than every WrestleMania combined. So if they don't tell you how much the connects work being corporate, it work. So you think Vince? Go, and we're talking TV deals about, and for the people that are like, oh, AEW doing well money. Tony Khan just rich. <laughs> Yeah, that's the. He, he's making money, but I'm pretty sure he's at most. He's probably oh, he's, he's probably re- striking even at the most, if that. At, at best, he's breaking even. I wouldn't be surprised if he's not losing a few hundred thousand. Yeah, dollars. he's losing money. I don't care, even if the TV deal is good, because it. Took, and yeah, I, I mean, well, look at the look at what they're saying about the video game development and whatnot, and now. If if 2K22 is as good as everybody's saying it, it is, they're gonna have to make that game. They're gonna have to make AEW's gonna have to make their game look a lot, lot better. And I don't know if Ukes is capable of doing that. As yeah. much as I love Ukes as a um, it's AEW had a ninety million dollar contract. It'll probably go up to as good as they're doing on turn to probably two hundred million. Fox gave WWE two bill. Why? Because they PG, and they can present it to children. And you can do all that. AEW is not going to get that kind of deal with using pizza cutters. I'm sorry. Whoever that WWE official said nope. it, it, even though. Especially not, not as the Domino's yeah. commercials of picture in picture with the Domino's commercial, somebody getting cut with the pizza cutter. I know they cutter. like to sell y'all in the 18 to 49 demographic, which is true. But at the same time, but yeah, at the same but... time, certain advertisers like certain clean cut branding. The only, only time, and I know y'all like to point out, Brock Lesnar knocking out Randy Orton, that was on the WWE Network only, and it didn't even show up on Raw the next day when they showed it. Did you know? You noticed it, Tori? They didn't even show when he bled on Raw. I did They didn't even that. show when he bled because they hid that part. Like, it's heinous, and then they, they might have took a black and white picture, and that was the most they did. Yeah, they did it. They, I was going to say that's exactly what they did. They, black, they used a the black and white picture because, I mean... They hard way to and and it by the way WWE on WWE Network did bleed on the WWE Network. <laughs> they did not bleed on. They don't usually yeah. bleed. Peacock is yeah. But do they still have all the? I haven't went back and looked through the Peacock library I, 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 like I, that. Do they it's, keep it's all? A that? Ter- it's a terrible library. Don't do it. Uh, WWE Network was fun to go back and watch old stuff, but this is that's uh, a Peacock yeah. is a horrible. You can't rewind. I'm like, bro. That's the whole point of me wanting to go back and watch. That's what I thought. I was about to say, I remember. <laughs> but that's. But yeah, I want to know y'all thoughts. Do y'all think Brian wrong. Danielson, I know we get off on a. So did y'all think Brian Danielson made it harder for everybody else after seeing his success? And did y'all notice that the booking kind of. Did he set the bar too high, yeah, people? <laughs> because he got over even when he wasn't supposed to. And Vince was like, hey, y'all, if you talented, you can do it now. So get yourself over. Yeah. But now, now as we all look at Brian Danielson, I mean, he's <laughs> – it's hard to compare anybody to him. There are but a handful of wrestlers you can compare yeah, to let's him. Let's say he's the best wrestler in the world. So, I know a lot of people – I know a lot of people like yeah. – a lot of people going to say Roman. Roman is the biggest selling sports entertainer in the world. Yeah, Roman's <laughs> the best seller, but I'm talking – I'm talking full, complete body, top to bottom from – in in between the ropes, outside of the ropes, his in ring psychology, his match placement, the way that he moves, the story he tells with the moves from the setup to the completion. I mean, it's top notch. Roman wrestling is his ring psychology is amazing. And Roman is money on the mic and yeah. in the ring. Don't get me wrong. Roman is amazing in ring. He's amazing He's on the mic. He's a good storyteller, but than anything in the ring. He, he is. But Daniel Bryan is everything. He's a WWE guy. But 
Redane Bryant could do any style. I don't know if Roman can do technically any style. He can tell a yeah, story like, in any way. Honestly, can... do you think Rome, do you think Roman gets over in New Japan? We, okay, we take a, we just take Roman Reigns. I think his ring psych- take I, th- away the I think his ring psychology is good enough to do it. Now, after years of training. Okay. I don't know if he'd be as big, but he does have a look that can be promoted well by anybody. Very true. I just sort of wonder how, because like certain WWE guys were indie guys before, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? So it doesn't surprise any of us who've been watching wrestling for any consistent amount of time when we see these guys go to new promotions and sort of just <laughs> pick up like it's nothing. I think Roma have a learning curve in wrestling style, but I think just his presence in the aura would carry him for now. Like I think that the main... The main, he came uh, up with the Tribal Chief with Paul Heyman. Him and Paul made up the Tribal Chief. That, that is not a WWE. Pro- with Paul Heyman, no. Paul Heyman is one of the greatest minds in wrestling. Yeah. We cannot but discount pa- but any Paul involvement. Said, but Paul he said um, Roman came to him and like, I want a mob boss type character. How we do we do it? So he had an idea. So he might be more of a mob boss if he went somewhere else. More like traditional mob boss. But I think he could. I think he's not uncreative. I can see it, sort of like a Will Ospreay in New Japan sort of thing, how he yeah. had the whole United Empire. Now, like I said, in the ring, I think his aura and his presence could work, but I don't know if in the ring he'll be considered. I don't know if he's as protected as in the, in the ring. That's the difference. Yeah. But, but like on the mic or anything else like that, I think he'll still go crazy. <laughs> I think WWE. I wonder, though, because I mean, I look at Braun Strowman. What, whereas he's been a, he was a completely and totally WWE guy. He had never wrestled Brian anywhere don't, else. And Brian, I'm looking Brian at him don't now. Have the charisma Roman got though. I'm like, oh, this Joe poor guy. Noah is very charismatic. Chris Jericho said it himself. He like, yo, that dude. If Vince don't let y'all see it, this was before the Tribal Chief thing. When he first got out, you remember that interview? He like, Vince don't let y'all see it, but Joe and Noah is very charismatic. I I think I remember, but I just... And people love him that work with him, so I it's think it'd be... But I mean, it's sort of... I mean, I guess he would, because like I said, I just... I was trying to defeat my own point. I just said earlier, freaking, if you look at anywhere that bloodline is in the it's wrestling like business, blood. they're near the it's top of the blood, bar. Dude. Like I said, so, I think for him specifically, it'd be like a learning curve to that hard style anywhere else or something. In terms of wrestling? I think you could get yeah. into it. I mean, he played football, so and me here and me here works anywhere. You see, Goldberg got over. Me here works. Brock Lesnar got over in Japan, yeah, bro. He's... People, people forget that Brock Lesnar and Shinsuke Nakamura had real life beef because oh, in two thousand and three, two thousand and three, Brock Lesnar took the IWGP Heavyweight Championship and held it hostage in America. He won it and then bounced out, went back to America, and just would not come back to I Japan. I like forget that Brock actually before he went MMA. So since Brock Moore didn't get a belt, I like how people forget before Brock went MMA, he, he did I, go I to love, Japan. I love that Antonio Noki made sure he got that belt back at the end of the day. Brock Brock sent it back, freaking, I, I, <laughs> because I, I think the, I think the story was that when Brock was going back to Vince the second time, but. <laughs> It was either that or whatever he was trying to do at the time. He was either trying to negotiate a UFC deal or he was trying to get back in WWE or something. But somebody involved was friends with Antonio Inoki and freaking that's how the now whether or not that's the real that's just what random that's the story random wrestlers have told. So until we hear it from Brock Lesnar or Antonio Inoki, but still. It is a fact that he took the belt and just went back to America. Was like, no, I'm gonna keep this. It was 2005. It was 2005. That's probably before. That probably okay. before. That's before UFC. Yeah, I was think. I knew it had to be because it was after. It was after he had left the first. Because people forget he just. Think about how many times he left and came back even there in the beginning because his first run in the WWE was like 2002 to 2004, I think. And then he left for a couple years and came back in like 07 or 08, something like that. Him and 
had that. Him schedule. and Goldberg on purpose like ruined them big giant main event and Stone Cold was upset and <laughs> everybody left. Yeah, because what year was it that he broke the streak? That was like that was way all let on. That was after that was late. I know that was way later, but still. I mean, think about how many times he had left and came back by the time they eight, had eight him year, break eight the years streak. Ago, WrestleMania 30. Because they started, I was going to say, they started setting that up at the UFC. Like, they had a moment where The Undertaker was at one of his fights. Yeah. I remember. Yeah, that's, that was um Brock's second. That when he came back from, I don't remember that. I remember he came up, and they like, you want to? But that goes back to like the Pat interview where he talks about him and how him or Vin, him and Vince are, are close like that. I think because Brock is like Vince, how how Vince likes to think he is. I think in Vince's eyes, he's more of a Brock Lesnar type. <laughs> Yo, oh yeah, Undertaker told Brock, "You really want to do this?" And Brock said, "Yeah." And that's after he won like a he won a UFC fight. It was. Yep, as I'd say, it was after he had won one of the fights, he got out of the cage and was. That's that was like the first flag we all got that was like okay, because I remember back when it happened because I was younger than two thousand eight. You know, I was still in high school then. I was like a sophomore, junior in high school, something like that. But, uh, you 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 sort of had to question whether it was a work or not. Like, I yep. mean. What if the Undertaker would have went to the UFC? That would have been horrible. <laughs> what if they'd have done the Undertaker like they did Punk? Yeah, CM Punk got CM Punk fought a dude that never won a met fight, and he got Molly Watt. and then lost again. Punk is zero and three in MMA. By the way, to the people that say Logan Paul can't fight, Logan Paul or no, he might be he might be two and one. I think they threw him some newbie, and he. Got in at least one win, but anyways, uh, for the, <laughs> think if they've done that. I'll be hundred percent honest for people that don't know. Logan Paul in the MMA ring would probably destroy CM Punk. But the people that say Logan Paul is not a fighter, I'm just being hundred percent honest with you. I sell him fight. He wrestled an MMA champion on the ground in a wrestling, bro. Uh, what's his name? I was about to say what. Wasn't he a college wrestler? Uh, he, was, he he hurt his knee, so he never did it in college. But he was supposed to go to college. Oh, but he was a high level high yeah, school wrestler yeah, was, though. Either either way, you gotta think anyone who's got a basics in wrestling already has a leg up he, on uh Logan said his daddy made him someone who his does, daddy made him start wrestling when he was four years old. So if you go from four years old to like eighteen years old at this point, he went he went to distance with Floyd Mayweather. Even though there was a huge size disparity there, which whether people want to admit it or not. Contributes a little bit to the whole thing, but um, bro, anyone who can go eight, anyone who can go eight rounds with Floyd Mayweather in a boxing ring, chances are they're putting the hands on. And most if you don't believe me, all life. I want to tell y'all is go look up Logan Paul versus Paulo Costa, and look at him wrestle him. And- Man, ah, oh, but oh, poor Paulo Costa. That's the dude the style bender gave the doggy style after he knocked him He's out. Style been a monster, but but Paulo Costa is a wrestling like another example of how size loses you out sometimes. Because that's the only reason he lost the only match that he's lost in the UFC when he went up a weight class. He should just kicked it at middleweight. Yeah, but style bender more of all around. Paulo Costa is a giant wrestling type dude, and he wasn't ready for that length and them kick. He got knockout power yeah. though. Paulo Costa's been knocked out a few people. He's jacking. But his jujitsu game, his jujitsu and his wrestling are Yeah, but Stop Bender, he he's one of the best in where I expect it. But Logan Russ Oh yeah. He's one of the best he's one of the best all around fighters in the world right and now. Cook, uh, I mean, look. And Paula Costa wrote, wrote and Logan Ryan. Like I, said, I mean, think him and Anderson yeah. Silva. Logan Paul went very well with him. Of course, Costa won, but Logan Paul was enough for five minutes. Yeah, he's Paul Costa. Well, Logan Paul went five minutes with a with a with a beast up in there, and he he looked really good. How long did he? And think he showed he's good on the ground. He showed he can box with Floyd Mayweather. Yeah. I mean, if we're gonna be and we talk about we. He probably put hands on most regular yeah, civilians. He probably can beat up a lot of wrestlers. I can't say he beat up all of them because like some of them are MMA people. 
no. Because uh, <laughs> let me tell you, Logan. Let me tell you who Logan Paul's not beating up. Brock Lesnar. Probably not Bobby Lashley. <laughs> but definitely not Bobby Lashley. Um, just so people don't think we're being biased. Um, Logan Paul's not beating up Jake Hager. I don't think. Um, yeah. I'm trying to think of who else on the AEW roster would beat up Logan Paul. In I'm a real fight. Cole, but he's um, whooping out. <laughs> No, he beat the A. Hey, Adam Cole's getting <laughs> dog walked. I hate to say it. Um, dang, I'm trying to think of somebody that besides Jake Hager. He's beating up CM Punk. 100%. Oh, Anthony, Anthony, Anthony Agogo. Oh, he He's an Olympic boxer. He might. He might put the. He might put the paws on. You think the Big Show could beat up Logan Paul? I don't know if he want. Or is he handing Paul White the hand? Just takes his knees yeah, out. Yeah, he too big to be done. Hits him with the double leg and he takes him too down. Too big for that. Logan Paul double legs the big leg, the big show. I call him the big leg. Yeah, but speaking of that, the reason we want to talk about Logan Paul because him and MGK are in WWE 2K22, and a lot of people. Okay, so that's not a joke. That that list of the DLC packs wasn't because I didn't go through and like multiple source check. I sort of looked at the first list I saw. Yeah, it's confirmed. Is this verified? Yeah, so it's confirmed by YGN. Mr. T. <laughs> Man, that's sick. And not in a good Bro, way. Bro, how is Aaliyah and Paige not on here? But not yeah. RBD. Bro, that, that list looked a little wild to me. And I hate it because I'm still going to, even though Logan Paul and MGK least, are there and they will uh, never get used by me, I will still end up buying a season pass. Hey, I get to beat up MGK. I get to throw him off the... T- that's what I'm doing when I get the game. Oh, Let's that's go. true. I'm KO powerbutting him through the table in the last minute standing match. We got, a, we got my, st- my stream going to be lit. Logan Paul. I really hope this game's as good as the reviews are. They said it's like toned down but good in terms of gameplay. They just like, cut a lot of stuff though. Because it, it, come, it comes out on the 11th, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, right? As it say, so... Tomorrow, as we're filming. Well, Logan Paul is not coming till July 19th. He's going to be on there with Rob Van Dam, Zia Lee, Commander Aziz, and LA Knight. I don't know why. Who wants to? There are so many wrestlers on there that I feel like should just be included in the game. And then there are so many there that I'm just like, don't nobody really Ilya want. Dragunov. I didn't Does see anybody... Ilya, Ilya Dragunov going to be on there. Yeah, I didn't see him. I did... He's been one of the. Or he, I think he's in the third pack. He's in the second. Show. He's on. Um, um, I am kind of stoked. I'm stoked about that. Even though I sort of feel like, I feel like the NXT Raw and SmackDown roster should all just be included in the base game. If you're gonna, <laughs> if you're gonna charge us for DLC, give me that. Give me the older characters, man. Don't be keeping current talent for DLC. That's kind of dumb. But, hey, you got you kind of well, got to it, right? I started this off by saying I'm gonna buy a season pass anyway. Hey, so to be honest, you are you paying for Logan Paul? <laughs> I'm I'm gonna buy a season pass, so I guess I'm, I'm t- technically I'm paying. I'm talking for about Logan if Paul. they didn't have L.A. Knight in it and Rob Van Dam. <laughs> well, no, I I I always buy the season pass for every because I just. I don't want to play a game if I can't have all the characters. It's the downfall of how they get me in any type of game that's character yeah. based. If they if they're gonna DLC actual whole different characters, because you know with the DLC characters, especially when it comes to two K WWE games, you get different move sets in, and that's when you get all the different variations. And if you're actually gonna use the create a community to its uh Full potential. You sort of have to have all the DLC, or you're not going to be able to get all. Oh, the we crazy got about we got about creations. six minutes before we get out of here. Tori, oh. how did you feel about this week in wrestling? Let's go over Raw for Raw first. Um, the amazing, amazing revolution. We had an amazing tag you match. Do revolution first. We want to do, do Raw first. We can do Revolution. I was gonna say because Revolution technically came before Raw. Yeah, hey, I forget. I'd be forgetting we don't start the week off this week. We start the week from SmackDown, and nothing happened on SmackDown. Yeah, yeah nothing happened on SmackDown. It, it wasn't but, bad. It just um, nothing interesting happened. I just wanted to take that man. 
um, just CM Punk and uh, MJF at Revolution, so amazing. And we got the William Regal reveal, which was nice. Um, I I didn't dig the um, tag team ma- match as as much as some people did. It was it was a good match, but I felt like. It sort of felt like Red Dragon was there to facilitate a match for um, the Young Bucks and Jurassic. Just so Express. we don't have it again. You talking about that? That had a lot yeah. of matches again. I still don't understand how Thunder Rosa get another yeah. title shot that she just lost. But yeah, but um, <laughs> I really just wanted to take a little time to praise CM Punk and MJF. So now that we got that out of the way, Raw came in. Uh, it was uneventful too. It was that t- it started it, hot it though. Was, Randy Orton turned. It up. did. Randy Orton got in that match and I, the, it I turned like, crazy. And even the babyface promo after yeah. he called Matt Riddle his friend. He has had this friend his whole twenty year career, and I'm like, I can kind of tell. I believe it though. <laughs> Usually he looks sad. Cause think he's been there. He's been there since the the beginning of the um. Ruthless aggression era. You know what I mean? Yeah. Literally 2002, 2003. It's 2022. It is true. He said his first time in 20 years, he felt happy. That match was amazing. What else to watch on Raw? It really wasn't nothing. Um, I think, and this might be a hot take to some people, I think that match was better than the tag team match at Revolution, the three way tag Let team. Let us know in the comments. Do you agree? To me, do you agree? Say, Randy Orton's know. star power just took over that match. That was like, oh my god, that RKO was. He's so good. By the way, Rev- Rev- shout Rev- out to shout out to Craig for not being here but hating on Randy Orton and Undertaker and Jeff Hardy. And now him being, yeah, all these people doing amazing stuff. Although we're going to talk about Jeff Hardy, yeah. <laughs> if you as soon as they may lead yeah. to them, we're going we're going we're going to talk yeah, about we got like Jeff three, Hardy. We got but, three minutes, um, so we got we can go on NXT. Um, anything I want to tell you to watch from NXT? It was pretty. That Grayson Waller LA night was pretty, really good to me. Other than that, it was. I've watched. I, I started it. I have not finished that match. I'm not gonna lie. I did start watching it though. I'm very. Picky it picks with up. NXT. It picks up after the first second half. When they start getting outside the ring, more picks up. Um. I've already watched the. I already watched Dolphin uh, Breaker, but um, I'm gonna go back and watch the other matches just to sort of see. But. It wasn't uh, the Wendy Chu and Dakota Kai match was interesting, and the after fight with Cora Jade and Amanda Rose. I just, was, uh, see, that's the thing. I can't get into Wendy Chu. She is just a complete and total. And I feel like an old person saying that because I. I'm an Undertaker you stand, so you can get you any gimmick you over. Know, you can get any you, gimmick over. It just hasn't gotten over. You know with what? Me. Look, kids actually love her, so I, 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 I forgave her. I bet they, and, and that's that's the demo. They're they're looking at that younger demographic. So it ain't I mean, teenage. It's little kids. It's literally that little girls that are like I want to wear. A, a, she's like a doll, so they probably think about think about Bailey. They gonna, make a, they gonna make a doll of her. We know it. They gonna make a Wendy Chew doll, but. uh some 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 it's of them there though, they, they're just trying to get the whole young person bunch mm-hmm. in there. But NXT, hopefully, I mean it's getting there. Are people getting better oh, time it's by getting, time. It's a lot better than it was as I, as I look in. Long term, it's it's going to come down to the booking though. They can be as good as they want, but if they're getting horrible stories, I mean, they've been still pretty decent. They better yeah. than yeah. the the live lavish thing got like the old childish vents. I can I can see all childish vents. She does not man. I try to like Who? her, but oh, I thought you I thought you were talking about the um no that Flash Legend yeah Flash Legend and Nikita Lyons. They had a the little scene. I I felt like Vince hey, Nikita Lyons sort of already got over with me, but she I think she got over with most straight male. She she probably the most popular person on TikTok in WWE right now. <laughs> they got that thing bouncing all over the place for views. Uh, they, she might be main roster way yeah, soon. Yeah. I, I ain't gonna lie, I'd watch her drop that thing on Becky Lynch or Sasha Banks or Charlotte. <laughs> Sorry, told y'all you were gonna get your daily dose of dirt bag in here. But yeah, so they that going over. It's um, it was if you ended like 
like old childish humor from like old people. You'll like that segment about it's about butt implants and arguing. So yeah. ain't nothing like ain't nothing like if, talking if you about like this. Housewives, you'll like that segment because they both did. Like I said, Live Lavish is good on the mic in terms of that, but they have us a ridiculous thing. But if you end up loving hip hop, but she dangerous in the ring. <laughs> Isn't she one of the ones to be stiff? It's not just isn't didn't she drop somebody too? Not not like Lash Legend, but didn't she end up? Or I, I don't consistently watch, so I'm just I'm, <laughs> picking up on the pieces yeah, that I yeah. do. She may or may not. I don't want to put no potato and smut on her name if there's not yeah. none. The names just be blending together yeah. to me. But so. they had a segment. It was they both can they they. Good decent promos for especially where they in their career. Liv is a hundred percent more better, way better on promo than she is in the ring. <laughs> I'm like, please just, let, just figure out, just put on the what's it called, level up, and just let her work with somebody that know what they're doing. Bring some old vet down and just let her work with an old vet because you cannot put up with somebody that's new to. And then let her just talk on the regular NXT. They fired all the old vets. <laughs> well, they well ain't two of them pregnant, so like. Candice LeRae still there, and is Candice LeRae still under yeah, contract? She, you know, when pregnancy start, you stop your contract. So, oh so, yeah, so, he you, yeah, pregnancy. Just yeah, so she's gonna be there next year. So when yeah. she come back, she got probably a year on her contract. Okay. So, so so does Johnny Gargano debut um, before or after Candice LeRae? Little interjection question. I have no clue. Um, AEW debuted. <laughs> They had they had a match with Hangman and a but it's it ain't ain't, Dante ain't much Martin. happening in this show. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Uh, the William William yeah, Regal kind of touched yeah, his promo. Cut a, it's, Eddie Kingston had a fire promo as always. Uh, William Regal had a Chris Jericho's heel turn was actually decent. Yeah, well, I don't, don't want to see Chris Jericho. It, Bro, look at that compared to all the other others. Mimosa keep match. him away from Daniel Garcia. That's all I want. <laughs> it's too late. Daniel Garcia was he had to readjust his middle finger at the end. You can already tell he don't fit I'm in. Saying, please just don't be. But Jericho, you, what you've got to realize is Jericho always needs a younger wrestler to suck heat from. He is a he is a heat <laughs> vampire. First, it was MJF. Then it was Sammy Guevara. Now it's Daniel Garcia. So he's got a type. Uh, Jade said she's going to kiss people and she's basically stole the name of yeah, she, Bianca. The kiss of death. I don't know how Bianca, I don't know how good old the EST of WWE is going to feel about somebody else dropping KODs so, on so people for what? in, so in for a what? way different yeah, so for way. Somebody can actually use the name and other one just only can use the initial. But I wonder if she... How do you transition from the kiss into her finisher though? Because her finishers, her finishers a free fall glam, a sit out free fall glam slam. So is she just gonna kiss them and then spin them around and pick them up? And, or? and then it's a whole bunch of nothing. Scorpio Sky and a had a WWE Raw match. Um, at the end. but he, he won. Did, um, please, Scorpio please get away. And just what people? I don't think he's gonna carry both of those. Please belts. get away, Bumbo. But um. <laughs> Tay or let Ethan Tay, Page Tay, have one. Let, let Ethan Page carry Tay one. Country got kissed on Revolution and she got her a country sign on. <laughs> on that. On the on the yeah, cakes. So, signing contracts. So she had cakes. an interesting week. <laughs> <laughs> and and, and the, the haters have been on her on her and Sammy Hart on Twitter. To the point. They did a little. They they had fake henna tattoos of each other's yeah. names, and people just blasted them immediately. Adam, thinking Adam, that they were Adam real Page had a decent and... match with um Dante Martin. I I wish it would have went. It was really. Can we be honest? It was just getting yeah. trying to. I understand TK's thoughts. It was let's give the kid a warrior send off for him trying to make it through the singles run while his brother was out. But really what it is is him just trying to um still trying to get over his champion, yeah. really. Cause regardless of what people say, that cowboy shiz is not translating as well in this title reign as you people would like to 
Um, he did, he had this awkward so, interaction with the Dark Order. That was like this is weird. It was, a- but if you're, it's it's extra weird if you don't watch BTE. Yeah, it, like I think yeah. about yeah. I, I watch about it too, that. and it's still, how many it's still weird though. Like, I'm like, this is watch. what. No, but that's but that's what I'm saying. Think about the people who are watching this that watch Dynamite regularly, but have never seen BTE. They probably don't even remotely understand the connection between Adam Page and the Dark Order, really, to begin with. Aside from that, he they bought him a lawnmower after he beat Matt Hardy. <laughs> that's a weird relationship, bro. I see why y'all got him away bro. from him. Yo, I literally saw fans. We got we got to get but out of here, but got, I literally saw fans say. I've been saying that forever, though. Just for the record, I've been saying get Hangman away from the Dark Order. I think a lot. They of said Bray Wyatt should come back and punish the Dark Order for being weird and fun. That the hardcore AEW fans would hate that, but in all truth and honesty, it would be some of the smartest booking that Tony Khan could ever do. If he could land in Bray Wyatt, because let's be honest, there's I, always a chance that Bray Wyatt goes back to the WWE. Because Vince, Vince, if they, if they need him make Vince did offer. say he is not against bringing anybody back if the fans want it, and I think he heard the fans want Bray Wyatt, so he might attempt it. I don't know if Bray would take that back like Jeff Hardy didn't, but Bray Wyatt and, Co- Bray Wyatt and Cody are coming back as a tag team. Um, Just to just to be the opposite of Brian Danielson but and last John week, Moxley, we're gonna have Bray Wyatt. And Cody yeah, last Rose. week was amazing in wrestling, all the way from Monday Night Raw to Revolution. This week was kind of bunching. Scorpio Scott won, and William Regal showed up, so I'm happy about that. But then, but then it was it was no yeah. tag team matches was amazing. Uh, what what else went on? There was another match on uh, Dynamite. Uh, we had Eddie Kingston to. The Eddie Kingston stuff started. Yeah, and then I, I said amazing promo. Warlow had a forgettable promo for me. I know y'all yeah. like it, but it's just... Uh... Yeah, okay, see, that's one thing I was forgetting. Yeah, War... You forgot Warlow. it. That's the um, point. That's my problem. <laughs> exactly. He needs. A, he might need a manager. TK, if you're, if you're, if you're Thunder, listening... Like, man, again, I'm going to argue. I don't manager. know how why you had Thunder Rosa lose at Revolution. Uh, Thunder Rosa versus... I think you said something about it earlier. Thunder Thunder Rosa versus Layla. I don't know was, why you had her lose at Revolution yeah. just to give her a title match two weeks later. I don't understand. Just because it's a home time. Don't have the match. Maybe they just... Maybe TK is fan booking and he's like, oh, Thunder Rosa winning in her hometown at not a pay-per-view. don't have it at the pay-per-view. She just lost, and she never beat exactly. her. <laughs> but thank you. Hey, can we talk? Can we say thank you to Tony Khan for listening? Though he listened to us, and he changed the women's title. You should, you... There is a new, the new women's title, and it looks so. It finally doesn't look like a B title compared to the TBS it's an NWA title. style title it for is, people that, who don't know NWA style. It is. It is very honestly. Might be one of my favorite title designs that I've seen in a long time. I'm not even gonna no cap, no stunting. I like All right, that. We gotta title. get out of here. We 50 minutes. I've been trying to keep every show, <laughs> but I appreciate y'all for watching. Um, a lot. Like I said, last week was amazing. This week was kind of. We came up with other topics because I didn't want to talk about them topics that long because this week has been. You had two amazing tag matches. Hey, country got kissed and then. Thunder Rosa got a random title shot again. A contract signed on her daddy. Shot the Warlow for winning and getting the TBS title next week. So it's gonna be lit. But but we yeah, all I was know. About to say. Shout out to Scorpio Sky for getting a win and being a transitional champ. Yeah, Scorpio <laughs> Sky. They said he'd been playing it for years, but Scorpio Sky ain't lost in almost a year. So I get a win. I'm not upset about that. I mean, hopefully, if they're smart, Max will intervene and Scorpio will you win. You know this gonna happen. They go. Bro, we'll Tony Khan booked this. You know it's gonna happen the way you think it's gonna happen. Exactly. <laughs> it's, it's gonna happen the way you think it should happen, and it's gonna have. It's no gonna be no twist. WWE been doing a lot of twists lately. Like I don't be expecting half the people to win. They have. They've been. They've been swerving us a little bit, and it all. It all started with the Pat McAfee Vince McMahon maybe, interview. We thought that was the- maybe Pat. Maybe Pat audience got him hooked on Finn Champion. Everybody that you wanted to be a champion is literally the champion. Finn's a champion now. Um, Ricochet a champion. Dolph Ziggler the champion. Like what? <laughs> that 
and that feeds right into your reason why Bray Wyatt Bray Wyatt could yeah. pop back up. And Bray and Cody have passed. I mean, look back at the NXT game show. Cody Rowe was, was Bray Wyatt's um, yeah. pro. You know what I mean? They go yeah. way back. Uh, that could be a crazy. Speak, speaking of that game. It's like the yeah. mirror opposite of Daniel Speaking Moxley. of that game show, everybody in order from that picture went to AEW. And the only one left is Miz. <laughs> yep. MJ. But the, I feel like the and every time we've said this a couple times, but and been wrong at least I have. I feel like the Miz is WWE for life for I real. I said that about William Regal, so <laughs> I'm done. No, but you got to think William Regal started out as a competitor though. He was WCW before he was WWE. Uh, you can say that about that whole. You, what about Christian? Christian, um, man. I, he was there since the attitude. All but, the uh, he's Canadian. All Matt Hardy, Vince don't like Matt Hardy. And if you don't know the story, Jeff Hardy was coming back if Vince put Matt Hardy in the Hall of Fame. Vince like, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you watch BTE. Matt Hardy be talking crazy. <laughs> he like Jeff. Watch BTE. There's a whole skit around the drug screen yeah, debacle. BTE is actually funny. But we got to get out of here. We appreciate y'all. Links all in the description. Like and subscribe. See y'all here next Friday. We out here. Peace.